Hey guys, Underground Geek here. So I apologize for the last video. That was actually Gwenpool number seven, not number one. Uh, you know how Marvel likes to throw those little Marvel Now number one on there and confuse everybody like they do the rest of their fan base. But it was actually Gwenpool number seven and Wasp number one. So I apologize for that video, but the comic still sucks, so I guess that's okay. Anyway, moving on. Um, I was going to do a review of Justice League and Power Rangers. I don't know if you've heard of this series, but it's a pretty decent series right now. Uh, Justice League and Power Rangers with Boom and DC. And it's kind of like a crossover event, and I actually kind of like it. Uh, but anyway, here's number one. And this was a variant cover that you could get that had the Green Ranger and uh, Superman on here. Kind of the leader of each group. And uh, anyway, so we start out in Pleasant Grove here. And uh, they're kind of talking about all the people. There's 376,000 people in Pleasant Grove. And uh, I don't know if you've seen Lego Batman, but it's awesome, by the way. Um, but then it shows a crater where uh, Pleasant Grove used to, or Angel Grove used to be. Uh, and uh, now everyone's dead. And, you know, Zack's talking to Superman. Superman's trying to console him about what's happened. Um, Zack kind of blames himself. Even though really it wasn't his fault, and uh, you know he tells him to get up, stand up, you know we we've got to get on with it, uh, kind of thing, kind of pumping him up. Well, anyway, it goes back to 36 hours ago to what's going on, and uh, they're they're at uh, the command center, and they can't find uh, Alpha Five. Alpha Five is going missing, so Zordon sends the Power Rangers to go looking for him. Okay. So they're going around different areas searching, you know, everybody's got their own color, and they finally find him kind of hidden and damaged. He's got, he's badly damaged to his chest, and uh, so then they take him back to the command center. Well, when they get him back to the command center, something's not right, and Zordon can kind of tell, and uh, I don't really like the way they drew, drew Zordon because he's, he's, he's too young for my liking, but oh well. Uh, but anyway... You can kind of tell the Alpha 5 is kind of beat up, but something's wrong, and Zordon can tell that, and so he tells him to teleport him away, but it's too late. By that time, there's a huge explosion, and the art in this comic's okay. Um, it's more digital, and it's not really my, my kind of thing, but it's okay. Um, so at that point, Alpha 5 exploded, and uh, it, it blew up the command center. And that gives Ward Zed his chance to attack. And uh, so they go in and it's Ward Zed and his uh, uh, putty against the Black Ranger. And uh, it goes kind of like you think it would. Uh, he tries to fight him, but uh, the Black Ranger by himself is just not powerful enough. So they end up... Uh, let me go to the next page here. They end up sending them away and uh, teleport him out of there but when they teleport him away it sends him to a different reality and actually sends him to the reality of DC and there's Batman and right in the middle of him fighting the putty Batman's like um yeah put the axe down and uh, so the Black Power Ranger doesn't really know where he's at so he's not going to be uh, doing that anytime soon so in a defense mechanism he he kind of attacks Batman which in, in my mind is a bad idea you don't just go around attacking Batman but uh, the fight the fight's pretty cool it's pretty interesting um, he, uh, he he's holding his own against the Black Ranger but then the rest of the Rangers show up so at this point uh, Batman's having a little trouble but he's holding his own, you know. He's fighting all the different rangers um, by himself. Uh, they're kind of getting one up on him every now and then. But uh, he is he's pulling out all the stops to try to fight him. But he's also asking uh, the Flash to hurry up and come help. And he's telling him about all the different characteristics that the Power Rangers have. Um, so as they kind of stop for a minute and they're talking, um, uh, they're able to tell Batman what was going on, how they're actually teleported there. But at this point, it's too late because the Flash has showed up now. And he's taken away all their weapons. So, 
at this point he's taking all their weapons and uh, he, he's kind of getting overzealous and the and Batman's trying to stop him but of course Flash is really hot headed and he, he doesn't listen that quick so he shoots a missile at the Power Rangers they survive because they're the Power Rangers and uh, at this point they're they're kind of telling them about what's going on they're like hey you know we're, we're the good guys and uh, but at the same time Pink Rangers had enough so she's actually able to summon her Zord from the other reality and uh, jumps on board and she's flying around and uh, <laughs> it kind of it kind of throws the Justice League for a loop uh, because uh, they haven't ever seen anything like this before and uh, it's funny because he's like uh, Batman's been taken by a flying pink uh, dinosaur robot because she grabs the Batmobile and just flies off with it and so uh, I think that was kind of a good way to end this issue uh, but if you haven't read it yet check it out it's uh, Justice League Power Rangers it's not Justice League versus the Power Rangers it's Justice League Power Rangers and uh, they've got a couple issues out so far and I've, I've liked every one of them so far um, but um, check them out See what you think about it. Uh, I think it's very interesting how they combine these two. Uh, two of my favorite things growing up, they combine them together. I think that was really cool. Uh, but I thought I would do this uh, video real quick, just kind of let you know about this comic book. And like I said, I apologize in the last video that was actually Gwenpool number seven, not Gwenpool number one. But it doesn't really change the fact that it sucked. But uh, yeah, check this, uh, check this comic series out. Uh, it's by Boom and DC. And uh, yeah, hit the like button, uh, hit the subscribe button, uh, write a comment down at the bottom, tell me what you think of it, uh, tell me about any channels that you might have, um, and I'll gladly put them on my Twitter, check out my Twitter, at Underground Geek, and my Instagram, Underground Geek, um, I like to post a lot of stuff on there, but yeah, thanks for watching, bye.